Drop stitch, magic glue, slip slip pearl, slip slip knit, twisted cord, wrap and turn, <laughs> pick up and knit. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Joey's Scarf. Today is August 21st, it's a Friday, a hot sunny day in Barnegat, New Jersey, which is where I am coming to you from. And I think I've just about had it with summer. It's been very, very warm here for all through July and, and August so far. This is a knitting and crocheting podcast and it's been a while since I recorded last. I think it was uh, June 23rd, almost two months ago that I recorded. But we're in the midst of the COVID business like everyone else. And to be honest, I just haven't felt like doing much of anything with the heat and uh, with the COVID. It's just been kind of a downer. But I have been knitting and keeping up with that. And um, I'm going to show you some things that I've been working on. This is episode 46, I think. I'll check that. And uh, let's get to some knitting. Okay. My main project has been knitting shorty socks. Um, if you watched last episode, um, I talked about how I had started with one pair and was having so much fun knitting those, I figured I would set a goal for myself. And my goal is to knit 100 pair of shorties. I showed the first nine pair in last uh, episode. And um, if you want to see the whole, what I've done so far, you can follow me on Instagram. I'm Linda Grace on Instagram. And I'm using the hashtag 100 pair of shorties. And you'll see all the socks there. But I'm going to show you the next group of shorties that I've done. Um, most of the yarn, I don't know where it came from because I'm using scraps and bits and bobs uh, to do these. So to speed things up a little bit, I'm going to show you uh, one sock of a pair on each of the sock holders. So this is one pair. This is pair number seven. Sorry, pair number 10. I like, like these a lot. And again, um, I've talked about this before, but this is my sock recipe that I use all the time. And I cast on 56 stitches on a size one circular needle. I'm doing these magic loop. I knit a one by one rib for two inches. <clears throat> and then the little leg here, I do about 15 to 18 rows for the little leg. And then I put in the marker for the afterthought heel. I knit six inches, that's how big my foot is, before I start doing the toe closure. So that's one pair. This is another pair. And again, the yarn, I'm not sure where, where all this yarn comes from. Actually, I think I know where this is from. This is from Wool and Woman, Women, and uh, they're uh, P.H. Dyer, I think, is the woman who does this. They're in New Jersey. Um, she is in New Jersey. She does a fabulous knitting job, and I'll put her information um, in the description box below, along with any of the other information I think you might be interested in. 
but I think these are called rainy day galoshes, this, this color, which I really love. Okay, this is uh, Knit Picks Felici. Not sure of the color. If I, if I remember, if I could find the, the, t the uh, band, I will put it in the description box below, but these are cool. Nice stripes. These are a tweed yarn. Nothing unusual about them, but I kind of like the colors and the, and the tweed. This I do know where the yarn came from. This is Legacy Fi Fiber Arts, and they've been doing um, 50 gram skein with a mini, which I really, really like because the 100 gram skeins are way too much yarn even for a full size sock for me. So the 50 gram is perfect um, and the minis are nice touch. And I think I use under 40 grams for this, for, for these shorty socks. So I was thrilled when they came out with the uh, 50 gram skein with, with the, um, mini skein and this one is called Grinch and they call these uh, micro sock kit and then it's their steel toes and uh, it's great 50 gram, gram skein and a 20 gram mini and this colorway is called Grinch that's this real pretty this is another set I bought from Legacy Fiber Arts. But this is just perfect for what I'm doing. And this is called Winnie Sanderson. And uh, it's pretty. But the 50 gram skeins and the, and the matching mini skeins are great. I really like these a lot. Okay, this pair. I did a little ribbing with this one. And this is a knit six pearl two rib design. That's basically what it is. And this yarn is uh, Cascade sock yarn. Heritage. That's the the gray. And the color is five six six zero, whatever that is. But it's like it's a gray color. That's that pair. Okay, the last pair I'm going to show you is the are these. And the, this is Knit Picks Stroll Tweed. The colorway is uh, Atlantis Heather. Yeah, these are pretty. I like these too. And I bought two more skeins of that type, Stroll Tweed. These are great too because they come in 50 gram skeins, just perfect for the shorty socks. I use one skein for each pair. And uh, this one is Garnet Heather. And this one is Barley Heather. I think they'll make pretty socks too. So here they are so far, the latest seven pair of shorty socks. So adding that to the nine that I finished last time, I have 16 pair done and um, I'm on my way. 
all of the 16 pair that I've made so far are to fit my foot and now I'm going to branch out and start making different sizes. So the pair I just started um, yesterday I'm going to make for Ross and so for his foot I'm going to I think I'm going to cast on 64 stitches and make the foot longer and we'll see how that works and I'll make some different sizes in between because let's face it what am I going to do with 100 pair of socks yes so I'm going to be sharing my socks with different people I think and that's it for the socks so far besides sock knitting one of my other favorite things to do is shawl knitting and I found um, a pattern that I thought was pretty <clears throat> and it's called Summertime Shawl and it's by Undeniable Glitter Alyssa, Alyssa that's her Ravelry name it's a free free pattern on Ravelry and I liked it because it had this lace detail So this is the summertime shawl and it's really pretty I think and the lace adds a nice touch very simple knit um, garter stitch and then you have the lace border but I'll pick Put a pic couple of pictures in here of me wearing it so you can get a better idea of the different ways that you can wear this. The yarn that I used, um, the main color here is from the Woolly Marmot. I don't know if they're still in business or not, but I received this as a prize from the podcast Victoria Knits. Um, when she first started podcasting um, she had a giveaway and I was lucky enough to win it and that was probably two years ago maybe and I'm just getting around to getting down to my stash I guess but this is a real pretty it's 50% silk and 50% merino wool very very soft nice the color is great so thank you Victoria and the pink here is from the yarn in us Cappy and Brian and this is called vintage pink and I had some leftover from another pro project so that's my summertime shawl one of my bigger projects that I was doing in between knitting the socks was um, I participated in Helen Stewart's mystery make along and the, the shawl was the stillness shawl and spoiler alert if you are still working on yours that but the I think it ends at the end of August and she's already revealed what the shawl is going to look like really very uh, interesting knit um, I like it. I liked knitting it. This is what it looks like. And again, I'll put some pictures in so you can get a better idea. That's the right side. It's really, really nice. Um, Helen Stewart's patterns are great to follow. She makes it pretty simple. Her patterns are usually very feminine, very flowy, um, romantic, kind of more frou-frou <laughs> than what I like, but the knit is, is, is fun. And of course it's beautiful it's a it's a piece of art really very nice 
the yarn I used for this shawl is um, the blue here is by Marionated Yarns and this is her scrumptious HT fingering weight which is 80% merino, 10% cashmere, and 10% nylon. And she calls this Tangled Up in Blues Gradient 5. So that's the blue. The stripe here, this color, which is this actually, is the Woolen Woman Fiber. And this is that, that rainy day galoshes that I had used in an, a pair of leftover, I used in a pair of socks, the shorty socks. And I'll put this information below. And the pink was from the yarn in us, the um, I call it vintage pink or whatever it is. I had used that up in a, in a pair of socks too, but I'll put all that information in the description box. That was a big project. Um, I kept up with the clues as they were delivered and it made it, it made it go not fast, but I was able to not toss it aside. So when each clue came out, I made sure that I stuck to it and got, got the clue done. Okay, my last finished object is a hat. And I based it on this pattern. It's called Towards North Hat. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. I made a few modifications to suit me. This one has a braid around um, before you start the pat the crown. I decided I didn't, didn't want to put the braid and I was using DK weight so I had to modify the number of stitches but I think it came out nice. This is a, um, uh, a slip stitch rib pattern. And I think it's really cute. The yarn is from the Golden Pearls and this colorway is Shady, Pine, Shady Pines Ma and it's a DK Tweed 85% Merino 15% Nylon it's from these ladies Still had, I still have quite a bit left over. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Maybe make some fingerless gloves. But that's it for my finished objects. Okay, works in progress. Not too, ma too many going on here. Um, of course, I have a pair of shorties on the needles. And these are the ones I'm hopefully making for Ross. I only just started, so that's all I have. And I'm using the Heritage Gray from Cascade Yarns. And the main color is going to be this, which is really, really pretty. This is from um, Legacy Fiber Arts, the 50 gram micro sock kit. And this is Forest Trails colorway. I love it. It's going to be really nice. So that's my next pair of shorties. And 
The other thing I'm working on, which I've been working on forever, is the Shifting Stripes Shawl. I'm still hanging in there with this one. And let's see how it goes. It's a cool pattern. But for some reason, I don't pick it up that often. And it's the color, actually. Not a fan of orange. Um, yeah, these are the colors. And if I find the tags, I will put that information in the description box. I know one of them is this is Hue Loco. And I don't remember what the other one is. But that's it for my knitting. And uh, Russ and I are going to lunch. And when I come back, I will finish recording. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, so back from lunch. We had a really nice lunch. We found a place that serves outdoor because in New Jersey, we still cannot go inside a restaurant. So the place that we found was was really great. It was right on the bay and we had a nice view of boats in the water and there was uh, tropical music playing, food was good, and it was really nice to get out. So about 10 years ago, I, I, I also li like to write and that also helps me figure things out, and uh, it, it's been a great help to cope during this time. And I was cleaning out my um, desk, and I came across a couple of uh, books that I had written for my granddaughter. And the first one I wrote was called Igby and the Pink Bird. And I commissioned a, an artist to help me with this. Um, she was from New Zealand. And her name, it's been 10 years since I wrote this book. Her name is, um, I can't pronounce it, but her name is Serena. And Serena did all the illustrations for me. So I wrote the story, she, she illustrated it for me. And um, we worked together on these books. So I wrote two. One, one was this one, Igby and the Pink Bird. And Igby is my granddaughter. And this one's called Igby and Sumbi's Great Adventure. And uh, Sumbi was my granddaughter's little cat. Their, her name was Summer. Um, but I had a, I had a, a lot of fun make, uh, writing this book, um, getting it published. That's another story. I had to actually not it, not get it published. It, I print. I had these copies printed, and the site I used is called Blurb, and they will uh, you can buy. They will sell your books for you too. Um, but the only books that I sold were not sold. I gave away a lot of books to friends and family. And um, so I decided if you, that I would like to share these books with you. And so I'm doing a giveaway. And if you have a little child that might want to read one of these, um, I will autograph a copy for you and all you have to do is comment below subscribe please and uh, like this video and uh, I'll pick I'll pick two winners and I hope you like the books so I think uh, I'm gonna go get Ross and see if he wants to say hello to everybody and see what he's up to all right, so here we are. We just had lunch. 
tell tell about the lunch you just had. Well, years ago, and I'm not talking about that long ago, mm -hmm. about uh, 21 years ago, there was a little marina down in Barnegat, and uh, the Sunset Marina, and there there was a guy that sold uh, sold clam chowder. Right, that that's was right. His specialty. He sold clam chowder, and with the clam chowder, you could Oops. get a you could get a uh, a, a, ro a big roll mm -hmm. with butter or olive oil, it depended. And uh, that was it for the day. You, you had you had your uh, food, and you could eat it too. It was really good. Right on the water it was all it was was a, a little tiny building with a kitchen and a deck, and you'd get your clam chowder and sit out on the deck and watch the boats go by. That's right. Nothing fancy. Just plain clam chowder, but. What delights they must have thrown in there because everything in the kitchen sink was in that chowder. And when they, what what hurricane was it? They got wiped out. Sandy. No, actually, Sandy didn't wipe them out. W wiped out the people not on either side of them. They said one guy, some guy, about uh, 50 yards in, lost his slip, his boat. Mm. And that was it for him. So that was 20 years ago. And they finally, after five attempts, or is it six or seven? Mm -hmm. Several owners. Several several owners later. Uh, well, they renovated the whole place and they rebuilt the building and everything. They have a, a, a great patio which is under a deck, so it's covered. And um, so you can eat upstairs on the deck, you can eat downstairs under the deck. Um, they had tropical music playing, and it was very nice. And very nice. And a little bit of a class show for a change. Yeah. Not uh, lo local, uh, local barman, gets hit by car, um, collects on his insurance, becomes a five billionaire owner. That's the owner before that. But he could make uh, a go of it. And he could. When did we lose track of time? <laughs> I don't know. It seems like forever that things were normal. All right, so we're going to wrap this up, unless you have some interesting story to tell? Nothing. Or? I have... N I know nothing. You know nothing. I know nothing. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty boring segment. <laughs> okay. So, we're going to wrap this up. Comment below. Tell us what you guys have been doing. If you want to enter the, the contest, my giveaway of, of my books, shamelessly promoting my books. <laughs> the it, it's really interesting. Uh, it costs me quite a, a bit of money to produce these books, but I wasn't doing it to make any money. I was doing it because my granddaughter asked me to write down the stories that I have been telling her. So that's what I that's was my main purpose, and I'm very glad that I did that. It was just a very special thing. She's so old now, she may have forgotten. <laughs> That's right. She was, that was 10 years ago. She's 16 now. So, but um, the, the people that I've gifted these books to seem to like them. So I hope that you have a little special person in your life that might want to read and, and enjoy these books. They're, to tell you the truth, if, if I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the website uh, in the description box where, where you can find these books. But they're very... Expensive. Very expensive. I mean, they're, they're not... <laughs> they're like real books. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, it was um, an, an interesting project to be involved with, I have to say that.
and I'm, I'm really glad that I did it. See? All right, so we're going to say goodbye. Okay. See you guys another time. Hasta, Hasta luego. <laughs> so long. Bye-bye.